Now a story has come out of Latin America about a creature called El Chupacabra. El Chupa what? El Chupacabras. You've never heard of it? Chupacabras doesn't exist. It's a fairy tale. So I like that this movie, you know, it had the mythical character and it was fun, but at the root of it, you know, it was all about family. So can, you know, Christian, your character wasn't as into that because he was more of the villain, but can you guys expand upon the, the concept of family and in, in this movie? Uh, well, <clears throat> you know, there was a whole other storyline uh, where Quinn you know, has uh, his his family. I'm telling you, it was very, very deep, but it just didn't quite fit in the whole scheme and overall picture of the thing. But believe me, he loves his family. You know, yes. that I know for sure. Um, but this movie definitely uh, delves into the, the connection of family, the love, the heart and soul. Um, what Evan's character goes through is, is a, a real journey, um, an exposure to a, to a culture that he really doesn't understand uh, or hasn't had a lot of experience with. So uh, it's a, a beautiful story about gaining insight and uh, greater understanding uh, in things that uh, we haven't really experienced before. Yeah. Evan, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Because, you know, your character, um, you know, doesn't want to kind of participate in the culture, but then he kind of learns. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. Yeah, thank you. Of course, Alex at first is like just kind of bearing, locking away uh, all his emotions for his family and like how much he really cares about them mm. and how much they care about him. He realizes that, but he just like over the loss of his father and like getting bullied, he just he just decides to like lock away all his feelings and emotions. But then they're kind of like you know reopened again towards the end of Chupa because he finally learns that like you know how much his family really loves and cares about him. And Damien, your character is, uh, you know, the abuela is so sweet, <laughs> but he's rough. He's rough and he's sweet at the same time. Um, but they say of him that he is always fighting for justice and to protect people. Do you want to talk about that? That is, that is pretty much what a luchador uh, is and does. You know, the, we, we, we are superheroes in Mexico. Uh, in our culture, that, it, it represents that. And, um, and I think it's a beautiful way how this is put, this character in this uh, story, because everything we need to know about life, it's right there with our grandparents and, uh, you know, our elderly. And, uh, and that's pretty much what happens in the story. You know, all Alex needs to reconnect with his roots is this contact with his grandfather, who knows pretty much a lot. And I love that, you know, the South American, my mom was from South America and the culture was all about living with the grandparents and um, and how the children can learn from the grandparents. I mean, that's a great concept that, you know, we don't do as much in the States, but it's just a beautiful thing that it, it even talked about in this movie. It is true. You know, you, you very few times you will see in our culture put in our elderly in homes, you know, we keep them with us because it's, it's a, it's a jewel. It's, it's knowledge. It's everything is how we reconnect. Tradition, right? Tradition. Tradition. Passing that on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, and the kids learn from it, right? I mean, the, every generation learns from, um, you know, the older and the wiser. So it's a beautiful thing, but it also, the movie talks about loss. Um, so, Maybe Evan wants to talk about that, or I don't know. You know, it's a big theme about loss. Yeah, of course. Like, that's like the two main themes, like family and loss. But, like, you have to understand, like, this movie's trying to portray that, like, you will, like, suffer loss and you'll, like, you know, you'll be sad sometimes. But where there's loss, there all, there's always going to be family to, like, you know, help you through it. You're never going to go into something alone. So I feel like that's like pretty important. It's like a balance. I feel like so crying well right now. I, I know I, that, that really got me. So well that's said. Right. We're, you're not alone. As tough as things may may get, sometimes you know, family and friends are there for you in the end. I don't want to be alone anymore. Your family is still out there. We will find them. 
Um, my oldest is only five, though, so I didn't want it to be too scary, but it didn't turn out too scary. No, so. I think, you know, to me, it was I honestly made this movie for my kids. I spent most of the pandemic. They're a little bit older. They're 15 and nine, but I spent most of the pandemic locked down with them watching movies. And so, you know, I saw a lot of movies that I grew up with, E.T., Gremlins. So it suddenly became very important to me to do a movie I could share with them. And I think, you know, there's something really fun of seeing kids see magic on screen, you know? I think, like, as a kid, we all, like, really wanted to believe that there was an alien outside our yard. And for me, I grew up in Mexico, so, you know, the chupacabras started in Puerto Rico, but the myth spread through Mexico while I was a kid. So the idea that there could be a magical creature outside my door was very exciting. So I really wanted to portray that feeling in this movie. Yeah, and I love that you add that that culture to it. And, um, you know, Evan's character has to learn to love his culture. Um, and so can you talk about how that was important to you? Well, I think one of the parts that excited me the most was the being able to create a movie like this that showed a kid relating to a magical creature, but show it in the context where I grew up in. And so to me, the story, the, the opportunity of bringing a Mexican kid that has never connected with his culture and has never been to Mexico and bringing him to Mexico and showing him all the aspects of the culture that are rarely portrayed in cinema. It was very exciting to me because it was like, to me, this whole movie was like a trip down memory lane. I was like constantly filling the frame with elements of my childhood, both of Mexico and the 90s. You know, I think like there's so many elements of the 90s in the movie that, you know, I think for me that I grew up then, it was very excited to what to, to, to do. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of the Goonies. I mean, not not totally, but, you know, a little bit. And so that was really cute. I liked that. But another thing that I liked was, you know, that the abuelo is there. And so he's um, a good figure for them. Right. He's a very loving, even though he's tough. Um, I think that's, you know, really sweet to see his involvement um, that I know is so important in the South American culture. Uh, my mom was from South America and my kids got to live with her. And so it's good to have those generations together. Yeah, I think, you know, like a lot of what family is, is like the narrative of where we come from. And the main writers of that narrative, the main people that tell us that narrative are our grandparents. My grandmothers, grandmothers told me a lot of like just the family tree and where I come from. So to me in showing a character and having a character needing to reconnect with his past, it was very important that there was the grandfather, you know, like I think like that's truly who's going to pass that narrative on. Yeah. And it even talked about loss, which is a heavy, heavy subject for kids. But, you know, kids have this situation too, where they have to go through a lot of times. And so um, talk about the, the storyline of loss. Yeah, I mean, I think it is a story where, you know, I think that's the main element where both Alex and Chupa truly connect. They're both kids that are going, uh, they're, it's a kid and a creature that are going through a loss and they both truly connect on that and, you know, help each other. And I think a lot of the message in the movie is that there's also family to help you through it. You know, like, I think that was an important message and it's a line that the mom says early on in the movie which is family's always going to be there for you i think like family helps you through those moments i love that you know that's so beautiful that's you know be having a family having kids has added a lot of purpose to my life and i'm sure it has to yours and so i'm glad that you kind of promoting that that's really nice yeah no i mean again i did this movie for my kids just the every you know, every element of it, I'm constantly thinking, are my kids going to like it? Is this something they'll connect? Because I think, you know, it's at the end, like having kids changes everything for you. Yeah, it does. Well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. Thank, thank you so you. much. I will always be by your side. 